and uh, I connected everything um, right now of course there is uh, just a battery that's drawing power so it's 12.62 volts and um, nothing uh, else launches on the meter right now. So, those and there is no amp. So, uh, trolling motor on. There is the trolling motor. All of a sudden, drawing the power to 30.5 watts and 2.47 amps, 2.646 amps, 12.36 volts, 2.48 amps. Let's uh, 2.52 amps. Let's go to second uh, gear. Now that's second. Gear. Okay. 2.77 amps. Yeah, that's forward second gear. Uh, 2.8. Jump from 2.7 to 2.8. Second gear. 12.25 volts. Third gear. 2.8, 8, 2.9. 2.9 2 amps. This is um, forward third gear. 2.8. 12.2 2 volts. Okay, it's drawing 34.7 watts. Let me do uh, fourth gear. This is the fourth gear forward. Again, this is my main cold out trolling motor. 2.8 amps. Okay, 2.8 amps. And uh, 1.8 uh, volts. 12.17, 2.8. This is fast forward number 5, which is 2.9 volts. 2.9 amps. 2.86 amps. Okay, 12.15 volts. 35 watts. Okay, energy level is 2. 2.83, 2.82 amps. All right, so this digital uh, meter is pretty good. I have it uh, connected it to my shunt. That's the shunt there, okay? And that's, I just fo follow whatever that's in the back of the thing. So this thing is actually working pretty good. Again, my trolling motor is, I am not putting the trolling motor in water, uh, which I'm going to do in a second. I'm going to get a bucket here, put the trolling motor in, so that the trolling motor is running in load, okay? But anyway, this is pretty neat. I can see my uh, voltage is 12.12 volts and 2.8 uh, amps. All right, so this is pretty neat. 2.80 amps right now, okay? So I'm gonna shut it off. And as you can see, I decreased my fast forward to the slow speed, all of a sudden drop from 2.9 to 2.4 amps. All right, this is, uh, um, forward one, which is 2.43 amps, and that's zero. So now all of a sudden the voltage dropped to amperage dropped to zero. Okay, it's not drawing because I'm, I just shut it all off. Now let's do reverse. So this is this is reverse one. You can see all of a sudden it jumped to 2.4 amps, 12.16 volts. Reverse two. 2.4, reverse 3, 2.5, 2.6, reverse 4, 4, now it's 2.67 amps and 12.13 volts, okay, 2.63 amps and it's um, doing 32 watts, 30.16 watts, 2.6 amps, 12.13 volts. Alright, so this is pretty neat. This little thing is pretty neat. I'm going to, uh, like I said, right now I put it on uh, uh, reverse 3. So let's do, so this is reverse 3. I'm getting 2, I'm, I'm consuming 2.56 amps, 2.57 amps, 12.12 volts, alright, uh, 31.1 watts. So let me uh, just slow it down to reverse 2. And as you can see, the amperage uh, went down to 2.49 from 2.6, 2.7. Reverse 1, it went even further down to 2.24 volts. 
2.29 votes and 12.14 votes, all right, 2.33 votes, all right. So as you can see, these this is without load, meaning I'm not putting the trolling motor in the water. So I just shut it off and it, the amperage went down to zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my trolling motor into the bucket of water and it's going to put load on the trolling motor. And you will see right away instead of drawing two amperage, uh, it's going to draw a lot of amperage. Uh, so it's going to consume the, tr the uh, battery a lot faster and quicker. So the whole thing of this exercise is I'm trying to put at the pulse with modular so that I can control the speed Instead of digital from one, two, three, four, uh, five forwards, forwards, one, two, three, I jump it continuously so I can see, from, I can uh, do the speed, you know, in a very uh, continuous way. So that I can, uh, uh, my amperage, uh, consuming amperage, is not going to go from zero to three uh, that uh, jump. So um, watch my part two. In part three, I'm going to put the uh, uh, PW modular, PWM pause with uh, modular uh, controller. Uh, that's the part three of this series uh, for the trolling motor.